Hey, second graders. Thanks for tuning in again. We have a very fun and exciting math lesson for you guys today. We are looking at word problems. We are going to be solving a math word problem together. Make sure you have your thinking caps and a pencil and paper. Your math lesson is loading in 10 seconds. Solving math word problems can be fun, but sometimes they can be a challenge. In order to help us solve word problems, we are going to read the problem three times. The first time we read the problem, we are reading for the gist. That's the general information that is found in the problem. Once you read and find the gist, we're asking ourselves, what is the problem asking? We have to answer that question before we move on to our second read. During our second read, all the way through the problem, we're asking what information from the problem you will use. Once we find out the information we are going to need, for the problem, we move on to our third and final read. During our third read, we need to answer the question, how will we use that information to help us solve? Reading the problem three times will give us a better understanding of what the problem's asking and will give us a better picture of how we can solve the problem correctly. Let's try to solve a word problem together. Are you ready? During our first read of our problem, remember, we're reading for the gist. That's the general information in the problem. Make sure you understand what is going on in this problem. After you find the gist, you're going to answer the question, what is the problem asking? Let's get started. It's Thanksgiving and Miss Hickman wants to make dessert. She plans to make cookies with chocolate candies. She counts out 32 chocolate candies and puts them in a bowl. She turns away to get the cookie dough. When she comes back, some of the candies are missing. Her children ate 11 of the candies. How many chocolate candies are left for Miss Hickman's dessert? Have any of you done this? Have you snuck candy when your parents weren't looking? Let's get the gist. The gist of this problem is that Miss Hickman is making dessert. She needs chocolate candies for her dessert, so she counts some out. After she counts some out, her children take some and eat them. So now some of the candies are missing. What is the problem asking us? The problem is asking us how many chocolate candies are left for Miss Hickman's dessert. It's time for our second read. We are going to read this problem again all the way through. This time, we want to find an answer to this question. What information from the problem will you use? Let's read it again. It's Thanksgiving and Miss Hickman wants to make dessert. She plans to make cookies with chocolate candies. She counts out 32 chocolate candies and puts them in a bowl. She turns away to get the cookie dough. When she comes back, some of her candies are missing. Her children ate 11 of the chocolate candies. How many chocolate candies are left for Miss Hickman's dessert? Let's see what information we will need for our problem. Miss Hickman counts out 32 chocolate candies. That is information that we are going to need for our problem. Do you see some more information that we're going to need? I do too. 11 chocolate candies. That's how many candies her children ate. Those two pieces of information are very important and it's going to help us solve our problem. 
Let's go on to our third and final read. This time, you are going to read the problem all the way through by yourself. After you read the problem, you are going to tell me what information we are going to use to help us solve. Can you find what operation we are going to do? Go ahead and read the problem. Figure out what operation we are going to use to solve this problem. It's time to check your answer and see how you did. What operation do you think we are using to solve this problem? If you answered subtraction, then you are correct. Awesome thinking. It's time to make a model of our problem. You make a model on your paper while I make one on the screen. Now let's take a closer look at our model. With my model, I have 32 candies. In the word problem, it said that Miss Hickman's children ate 11 candies. So let's cross off 11 candies. Count with me. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This represents my problem. I had thirty two candies. My children ate eleven. My job now is to figure out how many candies I have left. It's time to solve the problem. How many candies does Miss Hickman have left? 32 minus 11 equals what? You will have two minutes to solve the problem. Make sure you do your work in your notebook. Go ahead and get started.
10 more seconds to get your answer. Time's up. Let's see how you did. If your answer was 21, then you are correct. Thirty-two minus eleven equals twenty-one. Thank you all for another wonderful lesson. I'll see you guys next video.